You know those old style cartoons where the fat smiling industrialist with the pinstripe suit has the taxpayer by the ankles and is shaking out all his loose change? That's Bombardier. When we catch the occasional fleeting glimpse of those brand new streetcars around town, it's Bombardier rubbing our noses in it, saying, hey, there's not much you can do about it, suckers. Or is there? Because this is starting to look a whole lot like Toronto's version of the Saudi arms deal. Everyone is mum on the fine print, insinuating it's all a done deal and there's no way we can get out of it at this point. And like the Saudi thing, the streetcar deal looks like it's really about putting a few Canadians to work. How many Canadians are working at Bombardier's Mexican plant is anyone's guess, but I'll go out on a limb and say, oh, zero. How on earth did they actually land this deal? Because if anyone checked their references, and they probably did, they'd find Bombardier's track record in Europe peppered with comments like, worst streetcar experience ever, and do not hire this firm. Yet we did. So the question isn't why can't Bombardier deliver, it's who's responsible for hiring these bozos in the first place. 